Hello boys and girls, we've taken a field trip to Craglorn for today. We're at Spellscar right now. Um, just a couple things I thought about this morning, so I decided to pull out the OBS and start recording. Um, first little thing that I do, uh, I just want to talk about camera settings, right? So, hear me out. Um, Let's go take a peek in our settings. We go to camera and then in this third person section, uh, field of view, I max mine out, vertical offset, I max mine out as well. Uh, what this means is like vertical offset is how high or low your camera is to the ground, right? So I like playing at maxed out. I'm a big fan of it. Like I'm up high, I'm above my character. I can see things like further, you know, past my character. If I lower my uh vertical offset back to default this is where a lot of people play at uh they'll play like this maybe their fov is not as maxed out but uh like let's just imagine we're playing like this let's grab a bunch of ads right let's get busy and what they'll do in the middle of a trial is they'll play like this right and a bunch of things are, are bunched up you can't see in between them you can't distinguish what's what in this pile of enemies because they're all you know stacked right in front of you um there's no like you, know, you can't see them from above you know what i mean i find that if you see them from above like your camera is above them you can more easily pick them out in a crowd i guess this is more for tanking but it's also really helpful for just awareness in general as a dd like knowing where ads are like very distinctly in a pack you know um stuff like that like if, if you just go in there and your camera is low to the ground um it's gonna make it a lot harder to distinguish where everything is like right here i can play from an above angle and i can pick out a lot more stuff i can see where everything is a lot better just because i'm above it you know what i mean um so there's one thing I'm a big fan of that. It really comes into play in fights like let's say uh Basse hard mode where you know if you're playing all uh low to the ground and you've got you know A bombs and Basse stacked up on top of each other, you know, you're going to make it hard on yourself to see curses floating on the ground. Um like here let's try to get somewhat of an example. I keep clicking my add-on settings. I don't mean to do that. Okay, let's go default vertical offset, right? Let's imagine uh, that you are, you know, you're you're fighting, you're chilling, you're fighting Basse, blah, 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 blah. Um, and there's, like, a curse coming in from, you know, this way. It's coming through the taint. I find that you will have a harder time seeing it if you're lower to the ground uh, than if you were to be higher up like I play. Because then you're playing at this sort of, like, higher above angle and you get a way easier view of all the stuff around you uh i'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys i'm gonna get out of this area i think this is like a break time to go pee uh next thing i want to talk about is aoe like color and lighting um, so again, going back to like boss a hard mode, but this applies for every single trial in the game, every single piece of content you're going to do. Um, I'm lost. Okay. Uh, gameplay. These are just about base game AOE settings. I bet you guys probably didn't even notice it, uh, as we were fighting stuff. Usually I have these turned up to max and you might notice a little funny thing here. My max number is 500 usually it's like 50 i think the max is like 50 base game um but it, it starts out like on default it starts out at like 10 which is not great but i make mine 500 so uh we have a test button we can go and test that so here check out like about 10 right i know nine's not 10 but check it out um here's an aoe color this is probably something like what you guys are used to is uh like very like you can see through it very clearly but it's just kind of it's kind of muddy it just kind of blends in you can barely see it right uh compare that with you know turn that bitch up to 500 
that thing's bright you know if you see this you know you're in trouble <laughs> you know you better get out of it now i know what a lot of people like to do is instead of red just because it might blend in with a lot of stuff like there's a lot of fire mechanics in boss fights and red is sort of close to fire i get it it blends in um one thing that people do is they'll make their colors white instead look how fucking bright that thing is that you couldn't miss that you could not miss that that thing's bright as shit right so hear me out let's go test this out let's go fucking uh wow okay listen there's a guy already uh fighting shit we'll go find our own little spot right okay look here look look look, look at these guys they're gonna place like a little aoe ring around me look that that's bright as shit i'm gonna get out of that they're not doing the thing <laughs> oh well here's another one I'm getting sabotaged right now okay let me go try to find one that's gonna spawn a ring on me just so you can see how bright it is here at this look it's fat as shit you are gonna see that you're gonna get scared you're gonna get freaked out like you're gonna you're gonna start crying like on the mic mid mid fight just because of that aoe like that is so much more distinguishable than whatever base game like muddy red that you can barely tell is so uh you know but you also might wonder how in the world did you get your uh how in the world did you get your brightness up to 500 because base game i'm pretty sure base game is 50 it's either 50 or 100 uh you know i use let's go take a look at my uh my add-ons here wonder if it'll pop up t we're looking for t the shining right here you can see the add-on name uh this is an add-on that you can get on minion let's go ahead and take a peek at that uh my minion's not popping up okay t never mind lol but go on minion look up the shining all one word uh it'll allow you to uh increase your in gameplay it'll, it'll allow you to increase these numbers your brightness uh i totally recommend turning that shit to a white color and then 500 max it out Max it out so that you know exactly where these AoEs are and you don't get confused with yourself. Um, there's also another thing that the Shining does. I'm gonna have to find it here. Do 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 do. Probably somewhere. Uh, he 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 he. I don't know. T. I can't find it, but uh what it does there's an extra setting somewhere where you know how when you look at something it glows like here look there's a red like outline on that area atro, and then when i look at this other guy like he's red it's like they're highlighted right um so that's like a big thing for tanking or or even dding if you want to like put your single target dots on a specific thing um like when you're aiming that's a big thing uh it'll allow you to take that glow and make it brighter but i am a smooth brain and i can't seem to find it so i'm checking i'm looking here it is okay so indicators right um do 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 the glow intensity that's exactly what we were just looking at uh so you saw how it looked before so now let's go to target glow intensity right and turn that to 2000 it went from 100 to 2000 so uh really excited to go look at what this does <laughs> there's some people over here we can go look at it's a little brighter you know what it's it's a lot more distinguishable in my opinion i don't know if you guys can tell uh i don't know if the video looks that good but definitely a lot more helpful especially if you're a tank and you're trying to like you know pick out like certain things you know probably makes it a little bit easier to see especially in a trial environment where seeing that sort of stuff can get a little fuzzy sometimes also i just that was a different aoe color i think i messed up my settings <laughs> yikes okay that's fine that's cool um okay one of the 
other things that we can talk about is using hide group uh obviously i don't have a group with me right now but hide group is an add-on that lets you use the crown store guy pacruti um so the idea is when you are in the crown crate menu you see that guy you see pacruti right um and when you're in this menu everybody else gets like deafened a little bit like muted their sounds get muted and they their character models go away uh and all the effects that they have all their aoe's that stuff just kind of goes away while you're in this menu uh so what happens is when you're using the add-on hide group um pacruti will pop out let's see if we can Get him to pop out. Okay, never mind. Never mind. He, he doesn't feel like playing today, but... Uh, he will be activated without you having to be in that menu. And that way, when you're in trial with all 12 of your group members, um, all of their AoEs, their character models, anything that they're doing just kind of goes away, um, making it a lot easier for you to see things. This is especially helpful in places like Rock Grove. Again, like I said... But like countless times in the past uh oaks you know you get rid of everybody around you you can see the aoe's on the floor a lot better the meteor crashes the sunburst aoe's you can see it a lot easier uh base you can see curses a lot easier because you don't have a bunch of people just you know all all up in the way so so much easier really 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 recommend using hide group as not on it's hide group uh all one word uh now you might be thinking oh man mr temp i'm a i'm a crow main you know uh you can't use hide group on a necro if you're planning on using skills that consume corpses so like if you're an ec crow for example uh mystic siphon you wouldn't be able to siphon uh because it would hide the corpses as well so that's obviously a problem right uh don't you worry my boy uh <laughs> There is an add-on called Hide Group Necro. <laughs> Again, all one word. This allows you on a crow to use Hide Group, get all the benefits of using Hide Group, except corpses still show up. So you can uh, still use Siphon, you can still uh, Mortal Coil if you're an OT, all that stuff. You can use that, no problem. Uh, so if you're crow, use Hide Group Necro. If you're not, don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter. Um, really, really helpful add-on. I love it. I have not had any problems with it. Um, that is about it for today. I don't think I've got anything else to talk about. Uh, unless, of course, I turn on the record button. Um. Okay, so I pulled up video. Pulled up video. This is a score push planesbreaker group on EU servers that are, uh, you know, this is their PB. It was a 311,000 score uh, planesbreaker. Very cool, very neat. Uh, but we're going to be looking at hide group here. See, look, everybody here is invisible. You, He only sees their nameplates, and he's got icons over the tank to make sure he knows where he's at. He's got crown, very large, so he knows where crown is. This is OD support icons. Um, we can see that in-game here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Where is it at? OD support icons right here. So let's see if we can find it. Uh, crown. This is the leader, crown. Uh, tank icon, healer icon, damage healer icon, uh, stuff like that, right? You can put these little icons over people, that way you know where they're at. You can also go in your group, obviously, I don't have anybody in my group right now, but you would be able to right-click them and add custom icon. Uh, you can put whatever you want over their head. Uh, that way you can tell people apart in trial. Like, you wanna, you wanna know where Billy is? You can put a little troll face on Billy. You wanna know where... Where, uh, you know, anybody, doesn't matter. Um, great add-on, love that. So let's go ahead and go back to the video, right? Um, just gonna wait until, like, AOEs come out. That way you guys can get a big idea here. Look, look at all these, look at all these meteor crashes. 
he can just see them without everybody being in the way a lot easier. It's just him and the boss. Nobody else around. Everybody's invisible. Now, sure, he might be able to see standard and stuff like that. The reason for that, the reason for things like standard and shards and orb maybe still popping up is because uh, if you can synergize with it, then the game keeps it there for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but Teehee, he can see these AOEs very, very clearly. And look, he's also, <laughs> his brightness is really, really high. He can he can see this AOE, you know, he knows to get out of it. It's very, very contrast with like, you know, the floor and the AOE. Like he, he very clearly, he knows. Um. There's another one, like the the Oak Slam right there. If he was a little too close to Oaks, he'd very clearly be able to see that and be like, oh, I shouldn't stand there. Yeah. Uh, next thing we should look for is uh, the mini's going to do Sunburst right now, right now. Bam. He sees these AoEs very quickly, and they're very bright. So it's very clear where he needs to go to get out of them, right? Uh, just stuff like that, you know. Oof, man, that is a bright AoE. That's exactly what you want, though. You want to be able to distinguish uh, bad AoE from ground. Uh, you want to be able to, like, you know, be aware, have hide group on, play with your camera zoomed out, have the AoEs bright. Be aware. The more awareness you have in raid, the better off you will do. I promise, 100%. Um, I think that's it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you later.